Here you can see I've started to work on part of the design. Ignore the appliques. So here we've got the metallic domes and they're surrounded by the white Toho beads. So I'm going to do a demonstration with this one on here. And in order to apply the domes, we're actually going to use the beading needle. So if you thread up your couture beading thread and just make sure it's double thickness just below the elbow. And you'll also need your silk pins, so pins that are very fine for silk work. So here you can see the pattern that we marked out. So remember we had to mark all of the notches, so that gave us uh, the right position in order to centralise and apply the main crystal. So that is the centre of the dome there. And then we're actually going to do our starting knot here and then we just come to the edge there and we'll apply the dome from that position. So bring it through the back of the fabric to start and then just get close to the end. I normally put my fingers about three centimeters from the end. Push your finger up from underneath, catch a few fibers. So that's once and then twice. And all I'm going to do is just going to work my way to the edge of this line here. So I'm just going to bring that through. <clears throat> and I'm just going to take one of these domes here. And they have two small holes either side. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place that a pin in one side and that will really help to just put that in position as well. Just move that to the correct position there and I'm just going to put my pin in in that position just so I can keep it straight and then all I'm going to do is just going to rotate that round so I can get to the hole on that side and I'm just going to put my needle through there and then let the thread feed through my fingers. Take the pin out and then just move that into the right position. So you just want to make sure that that sits in the middle and then all you're going to do is just going to bring the thread up from the other side. They are a little bit fiddly <laughs> and then you're just going to catch it that side as well. You're going to do that twice so I'm going to come back up again on this side, go back down that hole and then I'll repeat that on the other side. And then all I want to do is I just want to do a small anchor stitch. So just come up close to the dome. So it could be at the side. That's absolutely fine. And then go back down. Let that run through your fingers. And then I'm just going to trim off at of the back. So make the strands about three centimeters in length, roughly, because you will, you will need to finish those off at the back. Remember, if you're only using the beading needle, you'll just continue on with that. So you wouldn't cut the thread at that point. For those that know how to use a tambour hook, we're going to be using the, we're going to be applying the beadwork on the right side of the fabric. So the reason for doing that, I just want to quickly show you. If you have a look at the design, you'll see just how variable the beads are. And I covered that in foundational level, so I covered in quite a variety of different techniques. And as you can see that you're picking up gold, white, gray, crystal. And so because there's a continuous change of bead, it's actually quicker to put it on the hook first and work on the right side facing up and then to, to interchange the beads as you go along rather than threading up the exact sequence and then working the other way around. So if you remember the project at the end of that course, I actually covered that for the foundational level. So we're going to work from 
one of our markers. So these markers here indicate the white beads that are going to go around. You, what you can do as well, just as a point, if you want to keep those threads out of the way, take one of your fine pins and then literally just uh, rub the threads together and then catch them out of the way like so. And then all we're going to do here is we're going to do a starting knot. So forwards, backwards, forwards. Release that. And then now you need to start working with the beads really close. It's actually a really good idea to have them really close up here. So all I do is I just pick them up on my hook. I would suggest to work with three or four at a time. So we're going to put four beads on and then latch that onto your hook. And then you're going to push down two beads. And then you're going to catch that the other side by pulling it taut, wrap, lift, reset clockwise. Again, let those two fall down, catch it on the other side, wrap, rotate and lift, reset clockwise. And you're just going to repeat that method. So again, pick up the four beads. If you can only put on two at a time, that's also okay. It's just you can work up to four, three beads at a time when they're this small to put on the tambour hook on the, th on the thread. So <clears throat> two beads go down like so. And then you're just catching, you'll feel the, th the beads sit against the dome in the center. So you'll know you're in the right position. And then they'll just fall on there like that. Again, just going to pick these beads up, latch that on, let two pop on like so, just going to push that into position and then let that continue around. So we're going to put the last bead on here, so latch that on, push that down and then you're just going to catch that to meet the other beads there. So this is the direction we're going to go to do the knots. So we're going parallel with the beads. So forwards, wrap, lift through the fabric. Now we're going to come into the beadwork here. So plunge, wrap, rotate, and then pushing on the back to lift it through. And then we're going to go forwards again. And by doing the knot parallel, because there's no room to go forward, back, forwards, that keeps the knot discreet in the beadwork there. Just unlatch that off of your hook and then trim. Make sure that's in the right position. I'm just going to bring these to the back here. So remember to bring your hook from underneath and then all you're doing is you're just wrapping that thread around the hook and then you're pushing on the back of the hook to bring it through the fabric. And then we'll just do the same with the other one. So wherever that's placed, which is just here, again, latch that on and bring it behind. Okay, and then all you need to do is just to move those threads out of the way and place them here. Lovely. So once you've done that one, if you can repeat that technique, for all of the metallic domes so you can see that you actually have four on each side when you look at your sample it's a mirror image so everything that's happening on this side is also happening on that side so it's really good to be efficient and batch everything together where possible so once you've completed the metallic domes keep the threads connected don't worry about flipping the frame at this stage to trim them off we'll do that at the end I'll then go on to explain more about how to be the geometric design.